So it's a workaholics reunion! Well, kinda. Game Over Man is the newest Netflix original film from the creators that brought us Workaholics. If you've never watched the show Workaholics, I highly recommend you do. It's actually pretty hilarious. But the film really does reunite the core group of the show because Adam Devine's back, Lady Henderson's back, Anders Holmes is back, Kyle Newichek's back. Anders Holm actually wrote the movie and Kyle Newichek's directing it. So it really just feels a lot like Workaholics, which I think is really cool because I really enjoyed the show. Now, like I just said, it's not like a legit reunion of Workaholics because the story in this is completely different, you know, character settings, etc. But the trailers for this look really funny. I don't know if it was meant to be intentional, but I took it as like Workaholics meets Die Hard. But uh, yeah, before I spoil any more of the movie, let's just dive into my thoughts. It was really nice to see the gang back together from Workaholics just because they have, you know, so much great chemistry together and they're still pretty funny. I'd say Workaholics is probably still funnier than this film. I'd probably say about 55, 60% of the time, like the humor that landed in this film. I mean, sometimes I got a chuckle here and there. Sometimes it didn't really, you know, didn't really gel with me, the comedy. And then there were sometimes I actually did laugh out loud just because this movie has so many ridiculous moments in it. Since this is on Netflix and it's not really bound by like television rules like Workaholics was, they really went all out there with the outrageous stuff in this film. You know, violence, sex, nudity. All, like they're all in this in like really ridiculous ways. And I don't think that's really for everybody because I don't think it's going to, you know, suited for everybody. It didn't bother me that much, but... I don't think definitely this film's not for everybody just because of all that kind of crazy stuff going on in this. Also, the plot in this is kind of just copy and paste action film plot since it's pretty much just guy holds a building hostage, wants ransom money, and insert character here that wants to save the day, you know, from the hostage situation. I'm not saying it's bad necessarily. It's just really, you know, predictable since if you've seen any of these movies, you know, like Die Hard, for example, you've seen it all and there's not really any, like, two crazy twists or turns. It's just predictable. I mean, even the villain in this film reminded me a lot of Hans Gruber. Just like a not as cool version of Hans Gruber, unfortunately. Another thing I felt like that could have really helped this film is making the pacing a little bit better. Because there's a large section, kind of like in the middle, where not really anything happens. And it kind of gets kind of boring because nothing really happens. It almost felt like it was there to just pad the runtime, which kind of isn't a good thing. Because this film's only a little over an hour and a half long to begin with. Also, this is random, I mean, well, just as random as it was in the movie. There's a lot of unexpected, like, famous people cameos in this film, and I really wasn't expecting it. They're not, like, too big of cameos. I won't give any of them away, because it's one of those things where you kind of just figure it out for yourself. But none of them are really, like, important to the plot. They're just kind of cool little throwaway cameos. But I enjoyed, for the most part, most of them. I mean, you're going to know who they are. But yeah, guys, I thought the film was okay. I mean, it's on Netflix, so you don't got to, like, go out into the theater and see it or anything. But, I mean... I think if it weren't on Netflix, I probably would have waited for a while to see this. Because I don't feel like this is a must-see film. I mean, it is pretty much just Die Hard slash Workaholics. But it does have some good laughs, and it's nice to see them working together again. And definitely not a film for everybody, just because of the violence, humor, nudity, sexual content, and all that. But, I mean, if you have an evening free and you want to check out a comedy and you don't you know, feel like renting anything and you have Netflix, why not give it a shot? But yeah, those are just my thoughts about the film. Uh, if you've seen the film, it's out on Netflix now. Uh, feel free to leave a comment what you thought about the film, whether you liked it, disliked it, all that stuff. Uh, also, uh, feel free to leave a like, uh, hit that subscribe button, and uh, until the next time, I'll see you guys later.